Is this protein bar really good for you? Is it helping you burn fat and build muscle in a healthy way? Hi, I'm Daniel Fernandez, and in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing Vega Protein Bar Chocolate Coconut Flavor. I'm gonna be talking about the nutrition, the blood sugar test that I did before and after I ate the bar, the list of ingredients, and the taste and texture, and I'll give you my overall score, overall rating at the end of the video. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, go ahead and do that right now so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. Just click on the subscribe button below. Now let's get started. About the nutrition of this bar, the quick macros are 250 calories, it has 15 grams of protein, it has 9 grams of fat, 29 grams of carbs of the which 4 grams come from dietary fiber, 19 grams come from sugar, and 6 grams come from other carbs. That yields a net carb count of 25 grams. Net carb uh, is the sugar uh, amount plus the uh, amount from other carbs. So that is 25. Now the blood sugar test that I did, when I was fasted, uh, before I ate the bar, I was fasted for about 14 hours. My blood sugar was at 95. Then I ate the bar and half an hour later, I tested my sugar and it was at 108. I waited for another half hour, so an hour after I ate the bar, my sugar was at 106. And finally, an hour later, so two hours after I ate the bar, my sugar was at 102. So I found this bar to not be, not be very low glycemic. It actually spiked my sugar and my sugar stayed up for uh, over two hours. So that's why uh, something to be aware of if you're concerned about your blood sugar. Now the overall score for nutrition is low, it's 3 out of 10. And the main reason is this bar is called a protein bar but it has more sugar than it does protein itself. In fact that makes it a uh, higher carbohydrate than protein content so it should be called a carbohydrate bar instead of um, a protein bar. So let me talk about the ingredients now. The, one of the main ingredients where the protein is derived from is pea protein. And pea protein is very popular, especially amongst the vegan, vegetarian community. It's a great source of protein. The only problem though with uh, pea protein is they use way too much, uh, way too many chemicals uh, to, to grow these uh, this, this plants, this pea protein. And a lot of those chemicals, they carry over to, into your body when you eat the bar, when, when it you know, gets uh, when they make the bar and then finally when you eat it. So that's why uh, I try to avoid pea protein. I think there's better sources of plant-based protein uh, with hemp being one of those. So pea protein good, but I don't like the way it's, it's grown. Now another ingredient is organic brown rice syrup. And this ingredient is, su is sugar, so uh, something that I don't like. Another one is organic cane sugar, which is sugar, uh, again, uh, you can see a pattern here. The reason why I don't like sugar is sugar turns into fat very quickly in your body. It's one of the main reasons why in the United States there are so many overweight people because we eat a lot of sugar. High fructose corn syrup may sound familiar, but anyway. Another ingredient here is organic dates. And dates are amazing, right? They're so tasty. They have a great amount of fiber for you, uh, which helps with your digestion. But the problem with them is they have a lot of sugar as well. And the sugar they have is a kind of sugar called fructose, which is a little bit more, um, it's worse than table sugar in many cases because it bypasses your pancreas uh, as far as releasing insulin to regulate your blood sugar. So uh, that's why I'm not a big fan of sugar uh, overall, but fructose even less. And there's another ingredient here that is high in sugar. So. Another ingredient here, palm kernel oil, and this is a good one. This is very good fuel for your brain. It's one of the best fats, fatty acids that are so good for you. Uh, the only thing with palm kernel oil is the ingredient itself is great, but the way they grow it, uh, they're chopping down a lot of rainforest in you know southern Asia, South America to grow this. So it's very unsustainably grown, uh, and it's really. Uh, hurting the environment. So that's why I try to go for coconut oil uh, instead of uh, from palm kernel oil because coconut oil is grown in a little bit more uh, environmentally friendly way. So something for you to, uh, to know as well. 
Another ingredient is Sacha inch, Inchi oil. And this is a great one. It's a great source of omega-3 fatty acids. This has been used for hundreds of years in South America by the Incas and other cultures. And for vegan, vegetarian, it's an amazing source of omega-3 uh, fatty acids that you a lot of times don't get when you don't eat meat. So Sacha Inchi oil is a great one. I really like that one. And another ingredient here is organic agave syrup. And this is sugar, so there is like four or five ingredients that bring a lot of sugar into this bar. And the one in uh, agave syrup is mainly fructose, which is the bad one. And even worse than dates, because the organic agave syrup doesn't have fiber to accompany it. So basically it goes even faster into your bloodstream. Uh, so I'm not a big fan of that. I Again, I would eat... Uh, table sugar f before I would eat uh, fructose or organic, uh, even if it's organic, agave syrup. I'm not a big fan of that one. And finally, inulin, which is uh, also called chicory root extract. And this one is a great one. Uh, it's a great, uh, it's great for your digestion, improves your digestive health because uh, it's, a, um, it's a soluble fiber and it feeds the good bacteria in your gut. The um, the gut flora in your body. So I really like this one. And uh, that's it. That's the list of ingredients, the things I have to say. The overall score rating for ingredients is 5 out of 10. And mainly because, again, you see the theme here, too many ingredients that have sugar, have fructose, and those are the ones that I want to avoid. You should avoid if you want to burn fat and uh, build muscle. So now, taste and texture. Here I have a few more nicer uh, things to say. I really like the flavor. It has a uh, very, it's actually pretty much chocolate, the whole thing, and uh, tastes good. Uh, it does have, obviously, it's very sweet. So after a couple bites, the sweetness is a little bit overwhelming towards the end. Uh, and overall, it's great. Overall, great taste, uh, great texture, very chewy, very soft. So that's why uh, overall taste and texture score is 7 out of 10. And that will yield a net rating, net score for this bar of 5 out of 10. Mainly because I don't like the nutrition. It has way too much sugar in it. I didn't like the, my, my blood sugar test. The ingredients, a few that are good, but the majority are just not good. They, again, they bring a lot of sugar to it. And taste and texture was, was okay. It was great. So 5 out of 10 overall score. Let me know in the comments below if you agree, disagree. Let me know if you have any questions. Maybe uh, suggest what uh, protein bar I should review next, uh, one of my next videos. And uh, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, uh, go ahead and do that right now. Click the subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of my future videos because I want to let you know what a lot of these companies don't want you to know. I also want to bring up the good stuff they have, but also the stuff that uh, they're trying to hide. So this is Daniel Fernandez. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.